I'm honored to say Jesse is here today. So come on out, Jesse. <laughs> us through, if we could show that one picture of your body, you know, arm amputated, these massive third degree burns throughout your body, you know, how, how did you persevere through that? I mean, just look at this guy. <laughs> I told him before, I was like, you just, you're jacked. <laughs> and, and to go from, from that to this. It's amazing. What, what, The one thing is, I was so far down in the dump and so depressed that, you know, I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? When you're at the bottom, all the way at the bottom, you have a choice. You can either stay there and you can waller in your misery, or you can get out of it and build a house with the bricks that are thrown at you. And I told myself, yeah. I was like, I have to leave. Thank you. Travis and I backstage were wondering, how do you go from, because there's a lot of scar tissue, a lot yeah. of pain. How do you go, because you expanded, yes. your bodybuilding. How yeah. does that feel and how did that go? Also, first of all, you feel like you're in an inner tube. Uh, anybody that's had grafting, you just feel like you're in an inner tube, you can't breathe. And the first two years was absolute hell. Like I, I couldn't breathe, like I'd lay in bed at night and I couldn't sleep, like my arm would ache and shock. And it's just, it's, it's, it's the most miserable. Like I told somebody I would rather be shot 10 times than probably have that done. It's just. Let's, let's, can we pull a picture up again? Cause I want to explain to everyone why this is so crucial for everyone to understand. You had nearly circumferential burns. And when that happens, yeah. that scar tissue does not expand. So every time you're trying to breathe. It actually tightens. You, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you understand everyone, if you're in a straight jacket, and, and yet the remarkable thing is not only were you able to work through that years of difficulty breathing, but then over time to have persevered. And I mean, again, looking at you, you, you are, you're like an Adonis, man. You're, you are, Thank it's, you. it's, it's Thank just, you. it's truly. Yeah. It's just amazing to us, you know, particularly from a medical perspective, that everything is symmetrical and that it's so well built and developed. Did you? Did you have to take any supplements to, to get this way? I mean, it's it's diet and hard hard training. Wow. It's diet and hard hard training. There's a lot of people that they think. You got a lot of people that's like, oh, if I just take protein shakes and creatine, I'm gonna get big. Like, you have to train. Like, what you put into life, you get out of it. Really quickly, the one thing I do want to acknowledge though is you probably have a lot of times we're doing what you do where your your prosthesis breaks or malfunctions. Is that true? A lot. Yeah. yeah. So well, <laughs> you go hard. Yeah, yeah. We we have. <laughs> it's not a normal arm. Like every time I walk in. Uh, and something breaks, I walk into my prosthetic guy, and he just looks at me, and goes, Kay, why'd you break? And I, he looks at it, he goes, dude, why'd you do I said, just fix it, don't ask. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you're not supposed to be able to like, break this, it's, it's titanium. And I've bent this thumb clear over, I've stripped the gears out, I've literally wow. broke the wrist off. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Yeah. I've pulled the screws wait, wait. clear out of the arm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. You're sitting there, I don't know how I did it. Look at your arms. <laughs> We reached out to our friends at Hanger Clinic, the premier provider of orthotic and prosthetic solutions, and they're actually gonna collaborate with their partners at Autobach to provide you with a second myoelectric hand. So that oh, they have yeah. oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, a true inspiration. Jesse, thanks for being Thank here. Thank you so much.